Researchers at the University of Michigan have developed a computer platform small enough to be injectable through a regular sized syringe. Now they've added a radio strong enough to receive and transmit signals from devices outside the body. This could be a huge step towards early detection for irregular heartbeats or for monitoring glucose levels in diabetics. So what we've been making is tiny little computers that can be implanted and it can monitor things. We have incorporated in our system a radio. Typically in the past, we've only been able to go a couple centimeters of distance. That's really small, like this far. Now, what we've done here is made a new type of antenna that can go much longer distances, but it's still small enough that it can be put inside a syringe. This is a bi-directional radio, so we can talk to it and it can talk to us. And in fact, some of our innovation was how to do that efficiently. This radio was specifically designed to talk through tissue. Electromagnetic radiation, which is how radios typically communicate, doesn't go through tissue, but magnetic fields do. And so we use magnetic fields to communicate, which is similar to something like near field communication, like what's used in Apple Pay. The initial test, the initial bring up and verification of the devices is done on a bench top. But at the same time, we want to simulate what it's like to be inside the body and talking out. It communicates about a foot outside of the body, which is 5 to 10x longer than the next best reported number communicating out of the body for something that small. What that will allow us to do is to then directly talk from the implanted device to, for instance, your cell phone, which is in your pocket. In the past, we'd have to get really close to the device. We, you know, if you implanted it, for instance, here, you'd have to put a reader right there, and that's not very convenient. Now, what we can do with this new radio, because it can go this much further, is that it could radio to a, a receiver that's on your nightstand, so every night it automatically downloads the data, because it can reach that far. We get emails from people all the time, this is great, I, I have this disease or that disease, and, is there something that this device can do for that? And, uh, and that's what drives us on in our research. How does a, an autonomous car figure out who on the side of the road called it? How does it identify a safe place to pull over? The goal of this project is really to tackle the transportation system challenges in order to turn it into a...